Hello everyone, blimey you'll be fed up with me today um, Right, just quickly before Mr Doodle gets home I thought I would show you his roller Picassos where you got all, get all the little things, roll a dice and draw the picture <laughs> Oh we had so much fun, it was a right giggle was Mr. Doodle's one. Let's have a look. I think he's done ever so well. And they're definitely better on the bigger sheet of paper than that was my one. So we both had the we both did the same at the heart shape face. That's those. What have we got next? Still the Oh no, that one's mine for that hair. Let's have a look. I think. Yeah, that one was my one. Goodness me. <laughs> and that one was Mr. Doodles. Got his glasses on. <laughs> oh, you can't help but laugh, can you? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh no, you'll have to excuse this one, it's a bit rude. <laughs> that was Mr. Doodles. <laughs> and even the nose, <laughs> this nose we've got down looks like it's not a nose, but. <laughs> one was mine. And they're not eyebrows, uh, I don't know what they were, Steph, are they wrinkles or something? And as I say, my printer wasn't working very well and I've just, but anyway, they've gone up there and they look as though they're eyebrows, so that's all right. <laughs> Some freckles, the <or> spots. <laughs> and, yeah, this is the last one. That was Mr Doodles. They're such a lot of fun. Thank you for doing that, Steph. And that was my one. <laughs> so, I've shown you them at last. Oh dear, every blowing video I've done, I, I keep forgetting. Um, right, my last video I did Butterfly that Steph had showed and said it needed surgery. Well, it's, had a, it's not exactly had surgery, it's had a bit of a patch up job. I rang the vet, you know, Steph said, uh, is it a vet job? I says, well, I rang the vet, but he said he doesn't do home visits for butterflies. So can you believe that? It's a bit rude, I think. So anyway, <laughs> the pieces that I had cut off of the corners that I said would be little fish or birds or scrap bats, I decided to put on the bottom of the wing so it's a bit like a you call it swallowtail type <laughs> bat-footed <laughs> butterfly and this bit that was all gaping I used one of the pieces in there and I've just put some bling on I've got I've I just had my other bling and stuff out and I thought how can I decorate it so if you haven't seen Steph's video go and have a look she's done some beautiful ones and she's you know, she's just embellished it beautifully but uh, I don't know, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I did put a strip of bling down the middle there and I've just left it hanging off a little bit. But I think I'm going to leave it like that. I thought, shall I put glitter on? Shall I put some more? I was putting blue on. No, I don't like it. So uh, I think I'm just going to let the paper do the talking. <laughs> and then the last piece of the... Can you see the bit that was cut off the corns I just put on there to hide the wire a bit. So I'm really pleased with that and now I need to ask Mr Doodle if I can have some... Oh I could... So I, was, I said in my last video I was going to put some fibres and stuff down because there was a great big gap there. I suppose I could... I might do that actually. I might just have some of this fibre for a... Just staple it on the back there and have that hung up on my rail with the other thing. Yeah, so thank you ever so much for that. 
Um, right, quickly, quickly, quickly. What have we got? What else have I been doing? This I did a couple of weeks ago. It's a, it was a mailing bag that Carla had sent me some up. Sorry, Carla, I can't remember your other name. I know I couldn't pronounce it. Shoot, sir, or I don't know. But anyway, had some happy mailing. I thought, save the bag. Did that the other week. Thought that would make a nice journal cover lovely gold on it there going back to the butterfly I didn't know whether to put bits of gold on I was going to but I don't think I am now right so that's that this next thing is a total failure I saw a lady on Instagram I'd put a picture up of she'd got some flowers out of her garden some nice petals and leaves and she put them between two pieces of paper and she'd run them through her embossing machine I thought, oh right that's it come get some flowers mine didn't come out very well <laughs> hers was absolutely lovely these are um, Johnson's blue geraniums but I'm going to have another go I've just not I'm not got round to that's the wrong side it's that side not got round to doing it again but I am going to have another go I thought how easy was another one I've been meaning to show you these that was another one don't know what this flower's called it was like um it's like a purple pom-pom it's ever so pretty but I, you can't sort of pick the individual petals off of it because it's all like tightly packed that's that one and that was that one so they're more or less failures but they're pretty papers aren't they so that's that what else oh this morning all this plastic stuff that i've had i showed you this one yesterday and i'm in the process of doing this I think tomorrow i'm going to get my sewing machine out i just neatened the edges on this i don't always do that sort of thing but i did just neaten the edges and i thought i won't try and glue it i'm gonna get my sewing machine out i thought that would be quite nice just as a little little pocket now this is the one that's got the fine organza on the top I don't know whether I just stuck it on or whether I had to put some sort of glue on I really have got no recollection of that and I shall sew all round there and that's my plan that's if I can get my sewing machine to work and then there was a, this was the well, two strips that I'd cut off the side. I thought you can't waste that, so I've just fused that together. And I thought that would just be like a little belly band thing. I might put a flower or something there. Don't know how. I'll probably just put a little button or something there. And a don't know. Don't know what I'll do. But that's tomorrow's thing. It was going to be today's thing, but it hasn't got done. Right, ironing. Just so I can tell Mr Doodle I've had the iron out today. I've got loads of coffee packets. <laughs> now this one was the actual, when you buy it in a double pack, it comes in a, right, it comes in a silver thing, silver pack like this, which I've just opened out, flattened and ironed as you do. So you get two two packs of those in a in a double pack, and then it comes in a big, big wrapper. So I just ironed that, and it's like ironing uh, how do you call it D uh, Tyvek. But it didn't smell. So I had the window open, but it didn't smell. But I mean that will paint up lovely. Oh, the reason why I tried this. Um, oh, a lady. Oh, was it Tina? you Tina got a lady anyway either yesterday or the day before when I was showing the plastic things she said had I tried melting crisp packets in the oven and I said oh no I haven't but that's <laughs> that's worth a go but we haven't got any crisp packets and I wasn't going to put the oven on just for that so I thought oh well, I wonder if it'll melt and it's turned out like Tyvek but this is the and this one has as well actually and I've got some nice holes in this one 
and this was when you buy the single packs yeah so that's been my little play for today and i think that is it yes that's it that's all i've got to show you this time right i better go now i'm 10 minutes mr doodle said he'd be home at half past six and it's 6 25 and i haven't even got the oven on yet so bad me i'm a bad wife right thanks ever so much for watching everyone and thanks for all your lovely comments you're so kind to me and i really appreciate it and i shall see you in the next video take care bye